Hello everyone, welcome back to Code Studio and in this video we'll be discussing the code forces question petty and strings. Let's go into reading the question first. I'll be giving all the links to questions and solutions in the description down below. So please first go into the question link and read the question before watching the solution. So the question states that there are two strings given. Uh, I'm, I'm not reading the story exactly, I'm giving the crux of the question. There are two strings consisting of both uppercase and lowercase letters. And Petya wants to compare those two strings lexicographically and she states that the case doesn't matter. That is uppercase or lowercase doesn't matter. What does lexicographically means in the order in which they appear in the dictionary such as A appears before Z in the dictionary, AA appears before AF in the dictionary, ABC appears before ADE in the dictionary, right? So we need to compare those two strings lexicographically. And what the question states is, uh, we are given an input of two strings um, and the strings length ranges from one to 100. It's guaranteed that strings, of, strings are of same length and consist of both uppercase and lowercase letters. So it's fine. And the output is, if the first string is lexicographically greater than the second string, I need to print one. If it is less than the second string, I need to print minus one. If both strings are one and the same, then I need to print zero. Now let's discuss how we would be solving this question um, before going into the solution. So let's just take these two, these two strings as input. Okay, so AAAA and AAA capital A are both of the inputs. So what is my thinking is, since the case doesn't matter, let me convert all the strings into lowercase letters for better understanding. Either you can convert into lowercase letters or uppercase letters as the case may be. So let me convert into lowercase letters. This is all already lowercase, so I don't need to convert this. A, 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 A. Uh, and this would be converted into small a. Small a. So both are converted into uh, smaller case letters. Now what I'll do is basically I'll compare each of the letter each of the character in both strings at the same indices and then I would say if one character is greater than the second one then I'll print minus one and break the loop. If it's less than the second one I'll uh, print minus one and then I'll break the loop and if both are same that is even after running through the whole loop I did not find any greater than or less than that that means both the strings are equal. So I'll take another variable which is the resultant and resultant uh, what I'll do is basically I initialize the resultant variable to zero which means I initially thought that both the strings are same and then I loop through all the characters in this given strings and if it is greater then I'll take it res equal to one if it's less then I'll take res equal to minus one and at the last I'll print resultant so if it's if it's greater then obviously my resultant would have been changed to one if it is less obviously my resultant have been changed to minus one and if nothing has been changed my resultant is zero which means both the strings are same so this is how i'm thinking to approach this question let us take another input and uh, uh, solve this on the dry run so this is our second input so i'll convert this into smaller case letters abs and this also into smaller case letters abz and then i'll compare uh, i'll initialize res equal to zero so initially res equal to zero, I'll compare the first letters, nothing is changed to fine and then I'll compare B, it's fine again, S is less than Z, that means I'll transfer my res equal to minus one and I'll break the loop from there and after the loop I'll just print resultant which is minus one, so output is minus one for this given example, so it, it's fine, right? So let's go into solving the question now, uh, how to code for this given uh, question. Yeah, so this is my sublime text and this particular code is for input and output uh, txt so that I can just run without uh, using the terminal, right? So let me just copy an example into input so that it will be uh, useful. Yeah, so what I should be doing is basically I need to take two inputs. So the first string, let us name it S1 and second string as S, S2 and then let me input S, both S1 and S2 into our code editor and now what I need to be doing is basically for int i equal to 0 to i less than S1 dot size i plus plus what I need to be doing is convert uppercase to lowercase so what should I be doing here is if uh, the character S1 of i is greater than 97 then s1 of i is equal to s1 of i plus 32 
so this is the this is the code to convert the uppercase letter into lowercase so i am checking if the given character is uppercase and if it's uppercase i am converting it into a lowercase letter fine so i'll do the same thing for s2 if s2 of i is greater than 97 then s2 of i is equal to s2 of i plus 32 i can convert this thing into plus equal to for more concise code right you, you will understand why we need to write concise code when you do in a competitive coding contest you need to make sure um, you might have observed i not kept flower brackets and then written here because for one line uh, for one line if conditional there is no need to keep a flower bracket so this is how it will improve your uh, code writing capacity so so yeah and one thing is this we have converted uppercase into lowercase now as i said you i need to initialize the variable resultant equal to zero and after a loop i need to print this resultant so resultant and then now i need to compare each and every character in the string so i'll just do for int i equal to zero i less than s1 dot size and then i plus plus and then inside this i need to uh, compare each and every character so if uh, s1 of i is greater than s2 of i uh, right that means um, res equal to so res equal to one and then i need to i need to break this loop and else if s1 s1 of i is less than s2 of i then uh, res equal to minus one and then i need to break this loop uh, so i'm breaking this loop after converting res equal to one and res equal to minus one because the the first instance is what is required for us right so let me remove this white spaces and then let me run this um it should return a zero here for us oh no yeah sorry i i have to convert this into less than right i just found my error i need to make this less than because when it's less than 97 that means it's an uppercase letter so let me run this again uh, it should run a zero yeah this is working fine so the the problem i did is if it's an uppercase i need to check if it's less than 97 but i checked it is greater than 97 it's fine so let me take another test case and try for another inputs so let me take this one and then i'll run this uh, yeah it's minus one working fine and then i'm copying this i'm running it again it should show one yeah so this is showing one which is what is expected so let me just submit this question i'll go into submit and then i'll just copy the solution i'll paste it here gnu g plus plus 17 and then i'll submit for petty and strings yeah it's running on test case 40 50 and it got accepted so this is a pretty straightforward question you need to follow what is given in the question um one thing you need to make sure to not do errors like i did if it's an uppercase i need to do it's less than 97 i need to check if it's less than 97 then i can assure it is an uppercase letter and then i need to increment it by 32 to make it lowercase and yeah that's it uh, thanks for watching this video if, if you like this video please hit the like button below if you love the content on this channel please do subscribe and share it with all your programming friends thanks and bye